Hey, yo, what's up guys, Zaid here. For the past week and a half, I've been trying out the Knees Over Toes guy Guide to Fixing Your Knees, and it's been helping out a lot. Let me explain why. <laughs> So since I started doing my Olympic lifting, I have been noticing that my knees have been taking quite a beating. And with that, it's been a lot of reinforcing the new stuff. It's been a lot of taking care of the old injuries that I've had, such as my knees, my hips, my shoulders, all that stuff has been adding up over the years. And now that I'm doing the Olympic lifting and want to get to a more competitive level, it's been doing good. However, my knees have been acting up a little bit. What do I do instead of letting it but get back to the old point where everything was just bad and it just started to hurt and I had to take time off. Now what I decided to do is take actions into my own hands and start a little bit of a recovery program. So what did I end up doing? I tried the Knees Over Toes Guide to Repairing Your Knees and it's been working wonders. So far it's only been two weeks, but I already feel my knees have improved a lot and it's not in a small way. So let me start explaining my problems. What, what were the problems that I started having. So on my right knee, because of the depth of a clean and jerk and a snatch, sometimes you can kind of go a little bit overboard and I've always been hypermobile. So that hypermobility on top of the weight, on top of potential years of maybe not taking care of muscle imbalances started to add up and I started feeling there's like a family of parrots around here and yep. They always flock like around this time, but I digress. So all those little muscle imbalances started to show. So what I started doing, I said, hey, I don't wanna like stop competing right now in Olympic lifting. I don't wanna um, stop the games that I've been having. I've been having some pretty good luck. My, my front squat finally PR'd after almost three years. I hadn't really worked at it, but I knew I was getting stronger and I PR'd with a 20 pound PR. So that was amazing. Um, I was super happy about that. Also my snatch has been getting so much better and just because I've been working on my clean, which is usually the other way around, you work on your snatch and your clean gets better, but now my, my snatch got better because I've been working on my clean. So like I said, all that in combination, I think started to add up and my right knee started to feel it a little bit like right in the center. And I know, I know that feeling because I've had patellar tendonitis before. And so I went with this for I would say a week because it wasn't that bad at first. Obviously it starts off pretty mild, then it starts getting bad. So I felt it and I was like, eh, we should be fine. A week, week and a half later, that's when I started feeling my left knee get mega stiff. I've never felt that before. And I said, nope, we're gonna start something. And I started the knees over toes um, program. So what is the knees over toes program? The best way I can summarize the knees over toes program. And again, I'm terribly oversimplifying this. It's a lot of sled pulling backwards, really deep single legged knee squats and a lot of VMO training. All of this over time starts to add up and really start strengthening your legs. And let me tell you, it's been amazing. So far it's been two weeks and I already feel massive improvements in both of my knees. My right knee, the pain completely stopped. Today I went up to 225 for three sets and with a full clean and jerk. The, the jerk was no issue because my upper body was taking it fine, but my knees were starting to take the hit. So I thought today after two weeks, hey, will I be able to go up? And yes, I was able to go up and weigh no problem. And my left knee, which was feeling super, super tight, um, has been feeling a lot less tight over time. And I haven't been doing any um, rolling or any foam rolling or anything like that. I, I did it before for a very long time and I never got any results, to be honest. VMO, all of it. 
I did it before my workouts, I did it after my workouts, never got anything. I got more out of the sauna than I ever got out of any type of foam rolling. And I had a massive PVC pipe at home. Actually, I still have the PVC pipe. So this knees over toes guy guide really does work. It really does help out. It's at least helped me out. And I think uh, for a lot of people that have a lot of knee problems, I think it's it would really help them out. If I would have discovered this maybe like 10 years ago, I think I would have avoided a lot of injuries that I have um, now, or that are now kind of lingering in the background, but they would have never have been. So super happy that I found this knees over toes guy. I also know he sells a little bit of a course if you guys are kind of lost in what to do, but he's pretty good at explaining it throughout his videos. But I mean, if you want to support the guy, I mean, the guy kind of came up with, with his own system. I mean, we're, we're all trying to do this YouTube stuff for, for different purposes, but I mean, we're all trying to make a living in one way or another. So definitely check his stuff out guys also something that i think you guys shouldn't overlook is the type of nutrition that you guys are having whilst you're going on programs such as these i went on the torokti 12 week program and then right after i went on the torokti um six week clean and jerk program and actually it's a five week um or six weeks i can't remember in any case i went through the entire thing and obviously this led to a little of this overtraining so something that i have done to combat this is get a good multivitamin and be working on my sleep all the time so one of the things that i do take is my am pm multivitamin and it is by thorn nutrition Thorn Nutrition is like the one supplement that I always have to have. I get some stuff from Gorilla Mind. I get some stuff um, separately from different brands depending on the purity, but I really focus on purity and Thorn just has the best stuff. I mean, that was the one thing my wife was taking while she was pregnant and it was the pregnancy multivitamin that Thorn has. So I'll leave both of those down there and I do get a little bit of a kickback. I just became an affiliate, but it's because I've been getting their supplements for like the past six years. <laughs> Literally, it's a savings both for me and right now there's a 20% off savings I'll leave the link down in the description that way if you guys want to go ahead and get a badass multivitamin definitely check that out but with that said guys thanks for joining me on another episode